First of all, um, if you see all the tables and the arrangements and everything on them, um, I've got to identify some people that help set up. Where's Tina? Um, of course, Alan, his daughter Shelby, his son Levi, Jerry Stonebook, Gary, Lanny, and a few others. All right, Tina doesn't want me to tell you, but I'm going to tell you anyway. All these arrangements on the tables were done by Tina Van Ness. She worked weeks, hours to do them. She worked very hard. After she comes back from hiding, give her another applause. She's coming. Now she's coming. She's done such a good job that I'm supposed to be the Hall of Fame chairman. I'm supposed to do that for five years. Every president's supposed to do that. But what I've done is I thought about everything that she's done, and I'm going to name Tina my co-chair of the Hall of Fame committee because she's done all this work. So she may not like it, but she's been elected. Also, where's Mr. Bud Sanchez? Buddy, come on up. Buddy's a good example of what, it, what it's like to be a Hall of Famer, ball player, community service. Bud put together a fundraising golf tournament and the proceeds are going to go to the Hall of Fame committee so that we can pay for some of these things out here. So without any other thing to say, I'd like you to say something. Uh, real quick, I'll try to make this real quick, is uh, we had that fundraiser. Uh, my goal was 50 players because I wanted to get it started to see the inaugural golf tournament. And we can raise some good funds. We can do some good things. We can do some sponsors. And um, anyway, so I thanked the board for allowing some of the teams to come out. Uh, we had some cancellations. So I ended up with 38 players is all I ended up with. Um, and uh, we had fun. Uh, it worked out real well. I'd like to acknowledge my lady, Sonia. She helped us out. She did the pictures that were on the website of each and every team. Um, we also had a real big problem because at the end we ended up with no cook, no chef, and I had to uh, solicit my son, and we had to run around and get everything ready for that, but that's, that's okay. That's part of doing all that, that stuff, right? So um, with that, I, I, I appreciate everybody that came out, and I'd I'm here now to solicit you guys, and we want to make this an annual event. Gordy Olson has agreed to go ahead and continue, so we're going to try, and we've got to schedule this way in advance to, to make this work. So we're going to try to get a lot more. We're going to try to get some more participation. We had JT. You should have seen the pants on that. Boy, he was gorgeous. So we, we had all that. Without further ado, uh, please think about that. Let us know. We'd like to do that. I have funds right now for them. Uh, that's how I raised it. I didn't know which way it was going to go. Alan ended up with a check from PK, so you've got an extra hundred. I made, I, when I finished, I made two checks. So, so I'd like to congratulate the inductees before I leave and the nominees because this is a great organization and, and it's a lot of fun. And with all that said, I'd like to give you guys the checks that we ended up with, our proceeds. We can do one of, one of each, and we ended up raising $2,000. So there's 1000 there's 900 because he's got the other 100 All right? Thank you, guys. Enjoy the evening. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> She's here now. She tried to hide. Tina, would you please stand up? Do I have to? Yes. This is the young lady that made all these arrangements. 
and she is now Sacramento Men's Senior Baseball League Hall of Fame Committee Co-Chair.